Hello, everyone. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Calvin. Uh, I introduced myself by saying my name is Calvin with a K. Uh, but I'm a new member here at Southfield. And just a little bit about me. Um, well, actually, it's going to be a lot. But uh, growing up, I grew up in a Catholic household. Uh, and all my family were practicing Catholicism. So they're very traditional and very big on believing in God through the Virgin Mary. Uh, but me and my siblings went to Sunday school, and it is at Sunday school where I was uh, reviewed or exposed to the gospel more. Uh, but at a young age, it really went over my head, and I didn't really resonate with it too much. And it is because of that uh, I was very lost and just didn't know really much what to do uh, about my faith. And yeah, but going into high school, uh, Near my senior year of high school, I met someone, and she would always just give me Bible verses every day, and she was a very God-centered person, but it was because of her that I was able to get in the Word more and just really look up, like, verses and stuff and learn a little bit more about the gospel. Uh, but after we had separated, it kind of just drawn farther away from me, and I separated everything that I've learned and just grew in God and just all the Bible verses and things that I've learned. Uh, with that came a lot of emptiness and a lot of just sin and just bad things in my life, honestly. And uh, I went into this just emptiness and just separation from God. But coming into UTA uh, as a freshman, I was super open-minded about this and was really looking for something to believe in and just put my faith into. And it was at student orientation, actually, where I saw the BSN table and actually ran into Kyle Duncan and Timbrel. It's actually a really funny story, actually. Uh, the whole reason why I even went to their table, if you guys don't remember back then, but Kyle had long brown hair and a very long beard. And there was, like, this afternoon, like, glow and, like, warmth on him. And I was like, wow, this man kind of looks like Jesus. <laughs> So I went up to Kyle. I was like, what's up? My name is Calvin with a K. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my name is Kyle with a K. Uh, but it was from there where he got me connected with the BSM. And I was able to just connect with the BSM later the next day and go to Vertical, uh, where I learned more about just the gospel and uh, worship. But it was from meeting Kyle. Uh, and just his consistency and just meeting with me that he was able to spread the gospel to me again. And this is kind of where it really resonated with me at this time. And uh, I'd, I'd definitely say Kyle definitely impacted my life a lot because of this. And from that, I started coming to the BSM uh, more often because I felt just so much conviction from hearing the gospel again. Uh, but I went for the wrong reasons. Uh, I would just come to the BSM as a way to check off my faith for the week and just check it off as a list. Uh, but because of this, this heavy responsibility that I felt, I ended up just straying away more from God and just separating again and ghosting from the BSM uh, for like three months or so. But after three months, I remember this completely. It was a Tuesday night after class, September 27th. Uh, I just had so much conviction and guilt uh, for ghosting the BSM and just separating myself from God that I just decided to just wait outside of the, B the BSM uh, that night for a vertical and debate if I wanted to go in or not. And I remember just, it was a chaotic period and there's just a lot of people walking by the building uh, because it was passing period after classes. But... Um, I would use the bypassing people as a way to decide if I wanted to go in or not. So I was just sitting there, and um, the first couple of people I saw, I was like, if this couple goes in, then I'll go in. And they went in, and I was like, dang, I'm not going in. <laughs> this is just a coincidence. And then a group of people, like a big group of people came by, they were bypassing, and I was like, if this group of people go in, then I'll go in. And they all went in, each individual person. And I was like, 
man, I'm going to sit here. <laughs> but then it kind of came to the point where a whole crowd of people came by. And it was like 11 people. And they're coming in from every different direction. And I was like, if each one of these people go in, then I'll go in. And they all went in. So I drove home. Uh, but on the way home, I had this crazy conviction. And it was so amazing because it was like the Holy Spirit appeared to me. But I had this, this bright light just pop up in front of me. Uh, it was a warm, bright light that just called me over to the BSM to come back. And it was not headlights or anything, but it just called me to come back. So I did a U-turn real quick. I parked and I ran to the BSM. And uh, before you know it, I was praying to just make Jesus my Lord and Savior and just pray to be saved. Uh, but, but it's because of God's testimony that I can say that I believe that the gospel is just the good news of Jesus Christ, uh, the Son of God, that he really did live on this earth, that he really did perform miracles and heal the sick, that he really did live a perfect and sinless life, that he really did suffer, bleed, die on the cross, and that he really did rise from the dead, defeating, conquering death and sin, just for anyone uh, who believes in him to just be given his grace of salvation. But because of this, I also believe my next step is baptism. And I believe baptism is a proposal to our faith that the significance of just being submerged in the water, the burial of Jesus and the ascension from the water, it's just the resurrection of Jesus. That is an outward testimony uh, to just everyone to witness that uh, I'm declaring my faith that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And that is something I'm gonna do today. So I'm committing my life to Jesus Christ and He's my Lord and Savior, my only King. And uh, before this, I would just like prayer uh, for my journey as a believer of Jesus Christ that I can just grow greatly and that God can really just equip me and just let me learn as much as I can and use me to just spread his good news.